I had this amazing lighting setup to work with, so I had to film the vlog here. And yep, I'm in a barn. <laughs> How's it going fellow photo files? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now if you've been around for more than a year, which is unlikely, you'll probably know that I regularly work at children's camps in the summer and winter. Here, let me show you. So in the last masquerade slash disco night, I got the chance to use this amazing light setup brought by my friend John from the UK. So after taking the regular pics, I wanted to do something more creative and realized I've never tried to do a hyperlapse, which I've been wanting to do for a long time. Knowing that I didn't have much time before everyone had to go to bed, I just pulled out my laptop to its maximum length and started shooting. So I do know the rules of creating a basic hyperlapse and it's pretty easy and I'm going to share them with you. By the way, this is kind of a rotating hyperlapse which goes around a central point. First of all, the length of each step determines the speed of the hyperlapse as well as the length of the entire video. The larger the distance between your steps, the faster the hyperlapse will rotate or move and the longer the final video will be. My steps were somewhere between 20 and 30 centimeters and I ended up with like 120 images. That divided by 24 frames per second and you get about five seconds of video. Plus you can just loop it over if it's like the circular one that continues. The second and most important thing is that there must be consistency between your shots. So pick the most important element that's in your frame and put it somewhere on the screen so that you can consistently have it in the same spot. I picked the center piece of the mat and aligned it with the center focal point inside my camera. This creates stability and ensures that every shot is not just jerking around so that you can have a smooth hyperlapse later. Every single one of these shots had the central piece of the map aligned with the central focus point. So I just started shooting 20-30 centimeters at a time about four meters away from the center piece and I completed the full circle getting about 120 pictures. Then I imported them into Lightroom, edited one to my taste and synced it with all the others so that there's a consistent theme in the video. Save these photos somewhere on your computer and then import them into After Effects as a JPEG sequence. They'll align to one photo per frame and by the way I had a 24 FPS composition which is generally what I work with. Now at this point your hyperlapse is extremely jerky because even though you had a consistent central point, every time you were maybe slightly rotated, slightly closer, further, up, down, who knows, and it just looks jerky. So of course what you do is take a warp stabilizer and throw it on your footage for those smooth transitions between frames. Now you might not always want to go with the default settings because for example in my case it was zooming in way too much in order to be able to stabilize it and I was losing important parts of my frame. So I took down the maximum auto scale to 110% instead of 150% and smoothness down to 30% instead of 50%. And now I got results that I'm happy with. That's not half bad I think, especially for a first attempt and it really can enhance your vlog and bureau and I really want to use it in the future. So there you have it guys, thanks so much for watching, I hope you learned something new, let me know what you think about this of course and as always, see you guys next week.